welcome to day two of the hut life up here at Frenchman's Cap. The weather this morning has been quite interesting. It's come from the southwest and with that it's brought a, a bit of snow with it as well, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure about the weather. I'm hoping that it will clear up a little bit later today, well, as the forecast predicts, and make an effort to go up to the summit of Frenchman's Cap. Just check out this new Tahoon hut, which is probably one of Tasmania's better looking huts. And as you walk in the door, you've got this really nice drying area, which is a bit of a luxury. And there's also a heated rack, which is pretty cool for drying a few things out. And then walking into the main area. And you're greeted with this nice warm hut. And what makes this hut even better than a lot of huts is it's actually heated. Like I just said, it's got its own little hydro station up the back. This is where the camp will be for the next couple of days. Drying a few things out as well as airing a few things out. Just for those who are interested, this is what breakfast looks like. This is just a snap lock bag with some oats and muesli in there. And I usually put dried powder and dried milk powder in there, mix some water through it. And I've got myself a nice warm meal for breakfast. So it's just a matter of just hanging out now for a while. Just keeping my eye on the weather out there. And hopefully I'll get a nice image sometime today of French Miss Cap, so stay tuned. This is definitely one of those times where The weather has taken over the possibility of that grand view. This snow up here on Frenchman's Cap is absolutely amazing, but the visibility is very low. It's one of those things, just travelling off season in Tasmania, if you want the ultimate rewards then you need the weather to add that drama, but there's also that inherent risk that you'll miss out on the view altogether. For me, Climbing up this peak has been amazing, and even though I haven't got the commanding views that you would expect to see from climbing up here, I have focused my attention on some of the minor landscapes of this trip instead of the whole, whoa, the whole view, so to speak. And some of these landscapes, all these minor landscapes, have been truly rewarding as they're unlike anywhere else in the world. I will pursue this summit bit, not far off now, just a couple of turns. Just on an issue of safety, we can't actually see where to go anymore, so we've decided to turn our efforts around here. You can hear the snow belting across the landscape there, which is quite amazing but a bit scary at the same time. We have decided to go back to where we saw the last visible marker and see if there's another way, just to say we have been to the top of Frenchman's Cap, but out of the interest of um, getting lost, we decided to make our way back down. Just heading back down from our attempt to get up to the summit of Frenchman's Cap and this amazing burst of light has just hit 
the range over to the right hand side here. Got some stunning pockets of light just highlighting that mountain and I've set myself up just in front of this little pandani bush down in the foreground which is very iconic to the Tasmanian wilderness. What I'm trying to do is slow the shutter speed down enough to captivate this bellowing fog up through the valley. So I've got my camera set up on f11 at four seconds. I've put a six stop ND filter on just to help slow the action down a little bit and I'm getting some nice bellowing streaks up into the sky there. As you can see, it's a magnificent winter wonderland here at Frenchman's Cap. The snow has been pushing down hard all night, which is making it freezing cold, but worth a while. I'm standing in front of the cap at the moment, which you can't see. It's just a little bit hidden by the fog at the moment. So I'm just gonna hang out here and see if I can will this fog away. Behind me, there is nice pockets of blue and I've got fog rolling up in the hills. I've also got some amazing light over into the distance there, which is gonna make some amazing photography as well. I have taken a few images of that fog rising up out of the valley, just to entertain myself here, waiting for this peak to clear. Very hopeful. I can see lots of blue up through the top of the fog there. So I think it's just a matter of waiting around for a little bit more energy for the sun to burn that fog out. So I'm gonna wait here in anticipation on the, the helipad, which has been strategically placed here to get me away from the tops of these trees, which is really good. I have only got the 35 mil lens on. There is a lake down in the foreground, but just getting that lake in front of such a sheer mountain just doesn't work out with a 35 mil lens. So. I've had to retreat a little bit. I'd thought about going back up the, the hill there and grabbing a photo, but it's just a little bit too nice and easy hanging out here, waiting for this fog to rise. So let's stay tuned. have been successful in getting a nice wintry photo of Frenchman's Cap and now it's time to go and get some breakfast before heading out. Just a tip, um, standing in the snow like that in socks and thongs really does take its toll after about half hour. My toes are absolutely frozen solid so I'm looking forward to warming them up but not looking forward to putting on my wet, horrible boots for the trip out. making our way back out of Frenchman's Cap and the snow and the light is just crazy at the moment. I think it's gonna be a long trip back to the first hut down in the valley, just taking advantage of this wonderful light and these snow clouds on the way back through Barren Pass. We didn't get to see this pass on the way through. There was just too much rain and mist and this is a real reward with this fresh snow overnight and these mountains in the background. I've just taken one picture at a fifteenth of a second, at f16, and straight away I'm getting that very loomy presence with a nice burst of snowy light as well. So I think it's going to be a rewarding walk. 
back to the car, so stay tuned. This is definitely the spot that I saw on the internet before I came for a walk into Frenchman's Cap that I really wanted to grab this photo. This is the Barren Pass. Unfortunately on the way in it was just full of rain and fog and visibility was zero. But this view today is absolutely amazing. We've got a light dusting of snow on the mountains over there and I've got some nice icy foreground down here as well. Just to add to the landscape, I've got some dead pencil pines here which give that real spooky presence to this picture which I've lined up in my foreground. As far as camera settings go, I have tried to slow this thing right down to make it so that fog really does peel and give that sense of movement through the mountains. So I've put on a six stop ND filter, I've got a circular polarizer just to cut the light down a bit and I'm getting exposures of up to 15 seconds at f11. Just keeping the camera from moving is probably the most difficult bit. This um, tripod's excellent for travel but it's not the sturdiest tripod in the wind when you're sitting up on the edge of a, a cliff like this. I'll just wait here a few more minutes and just try and get a, another glimpse of sun which I can see coming through over there. And if that just brushes across these mountains, then I'll pack up then and make my way back across this pass over the saddle and then back down to the vehicle. Can't wait. So we're just coming to the end of our Frenchman's Cap adventure and we're in and out in three days and if you are interested in coming to Tasmania to do some photography or hiking alike, it is true what they say down here, you will get four seasons in one day. We had the rain and the mist on the first day, accompanying snow and winds on the second day and Today, all the rivers are alive with flowing rapidly with all the melted snow. And now we've got a nice hot sun just to help dry us out before we get back to the car. I am looking forward to looking at these pictures. I think I've got some amazing mountain photography with the moods of the snow clouds coming through this morning, which would be good to see. But for now, it's just back to the car and to stop in at the chalet for a nice cold drink and a nice cooked meal. So let's stay tuned and check that out.